can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, early round action here. Kamal Usman's wrestling is next level. His MMA wrestling, super functional. But he believes that the jab is going to be the key here tonight. Obviously, he has gone to great lengths to develop that under Trevor Whitman. And he felt like he might actually be able to win this fight without securing a single takedown. We shall see. Oh, perfect execution on the low kick. All right, didn't take us long to get our first clinch situation here. Some wrestlers pursue the takedown at distance. This guy has no issues trying to get it out of this clinch situation. No, he loves this clinch because he's got a great inside-out trip. He does a good job of changing his levels to get to the hips. He's just a good fighter from in close. He has spent a lifetime developing his skills. He wants to impose his will as an, on his opponents from this position. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. First takedown attempt for the wrestler here, and he's able to get the more well-rounded fighter to the ground. So the striker gets a little bit off balance and pays the ultimate price. But well, we know this is where this guy wants to be. Now, his opponent is a very good grappler, but this is his wheelhouse. This is where he makes his money, and if he's on the ground on top, he is exactly where he wants to be. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, play, try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, nice kick. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. And again, back to that punch. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Under three minutes to go in round one. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows on the ball. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. A lot of power on display from Kamar Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamar Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight, not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. He loaded up there on that high kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Straight punch, that is useful. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting him over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Pretty good jab there by Lee. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, 
It's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Back and forth we go. Oh! Judo toss made it look easy. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, right into Mount. Lee getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Inside the close guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke. Oh, oh and there's the horn at the end of the round. Yes, How yes, about yes. this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second ready. round underway. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes. To the is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. A great job. Oh, huge left. Knee to the body. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Usman gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful defensive skills on display. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing. Oh! Oh, he's got him hurting here. Oh, man. Quick jab. Oh, big left hook there. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. What a beautiful entry on the takedown for Kamal Usman. Now we'll see what he can do with it. His ground and pound is outstanding. He's been more opportunistic with it of late. And you know in terms of the cardio, few men can match it here in this UFC welterweight division. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Switch, he lands to the body. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, huge kick to the head. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Clinch position. Beautiful elbow. And he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a, a great double leg. Usman's in half court. Getting the ball here. Nice positional control here. Nice transition. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Right into side control. Massive shot from the top. Usman's right back to the full mount. Under two minutes to go. He's 
got to be careful here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Usman. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. And a miss with the right hook. Under a minute to go. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. This might be doing a real good job with his jab right now. 15 seconds to go. What a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Fantastic kick down. Big right hook there by the champ. Usman going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Keeping him honest with the jab. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Real nice body kick lands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice hook there by Kamaru Rus. Distance management, one on one, another punch lands. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, I like that kick there. 
In terms of those low leg kicks, a lot of fighters say it's just toughness. It doesn't have to do with genetics necessarily, but you don't want to take too many more of those. Push kick there to the body. Oh, inside kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, another inside leg kick. Those are starting to pile up. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Unable to connect there. To the body in it lands. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Usman's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. Big knee lands to the body. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily win. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. What a beautiful leg kick that landed. Usman's forehead is bleeding now. Cut is open. Big shot to the head. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being active, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Great job landing from the top position. Usman's in half goal. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Full side control now. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. He's got the sub locked in. The on belly. 15 seconds. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. That's three rounds. Oh, We're now headed to the championship rounds. Heading back to the corner now, and however deliberately, Usman's got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. Well, he's done a real good job attacking that cut above the eye, and here is your visual proof. I mean, John, just devastating. These blows were amazing. He was able to land at will, and he opened up a nasty cut over the eye of his opponent. Now he's got to target it, and every time he lands, that blood will start to pour down into the eye, making it real hard to fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Lands a solid kick right there. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, it's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Lands the front kick to the body. Now, nice work on the feet by Lee. He's got that single collar tie locked in. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Usman's kick is blocked. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Oh, elbow to the head right out of the clinch. Good work there. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Postures up, Neil's belly. He's braided down Brown and Call. He has to move or the fight is going to get stopped. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Usman's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Great ground and pound by this man. All right, he's hanging out inside the close guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Oh, back and forth we go. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Hands on your face. Single collar tie now. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Swing and a miss by Lee. a nice straight. Headshot, bang! Under two minutes to go. Good sequence of kicks there by Usman. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to knock gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Nice jab by Usman. Nice body kick. Usman gets caught with that punch. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, how clean is that jab by Usman? Trying to kick the leg out. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Well, it didn't take him long to get oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, big elbow. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Usman's in half guard. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Final seconds here. Usman's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's going to need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target constantly. He opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he sees that he's got a wounded opponent in front of him. He is going to target that eye even more in this next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, beautiful kick to the head. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Nice elbow in the clinch there up top by Usman. Back and forth we go. Real quick leg kick. All right, now you see some visible damage on that calf. We'll keep an eye on that. You got to watch it. I mean, this kick is so damaging. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. 
Front kick to the body is there. Nice job by Usman. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Just missed with that right hand. Heavy kick downstairs. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. All right, well, I don't have to be a judge to tell you he is losing this fight late in the game now. Time to start throwing up those submission attempts, I would think. You got to keep going. You got to start throwing up submission attempt after submission attempt and hope that something's free for you to latch on to. And the uppercut lands. Just misses with the right. Hook to the head there by Usman. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Usman gets caught by that straight punch there. Establishing the jab here. Usman's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Dig and kick. Gets to the single collar tie. Come on now, kids. Another big kick. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Usman. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Lee's in half guard now. All right, feet on the hips here. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Lee. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Looks like he's got the sub locked in tight now. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Usman. Final seconds of the fight. Oh, a huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the fans came to see him knock oh, Back and forth action right till the final horn. What a tremendous finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight 
champion.